We've been really interested in visualizing at the pore level scale what happens with foam. And the idea is to really look at models that mimic what would you see in a reservoir system and see if we can actually understand how fluids move through these complex networks of pores that are typical in reservoir systems. And so we really wanted to be able to capture that. And so we developed this micro model basically of a single pore and we wanted to look at how foam propagates and how it moves through the single pore. So what we are doing here is we design and fabricate this microfluidic device to understand foam flow through pore scale. And what we do is we inject gas and surfactant solution in a flow focusing device to pre-generate foam. Then we use our inverted microscope and the high speed camera to capture the pore scale event. The camera, the high speed camera can capture the image as fast as 10,000 frames per second. As you can see here, this is slowed down by 500 times. But what we were able to actually see is that there's two mechanisms that really haven't been described before. And one is where you can actually have bubbles interact with each other and pinch off another bubble. And so this is interesting because all the previous mechanisms that describe this phenomena always describe foam as being able to break up because of hard surfaces, rock surfaces. But here we're actually showing that you don't need to have just a hard surface, that you can actually use neighboring bubbles to induce things like pinch off, breaking up these bubbles to generate more lamella. And the idea is if you can generate more lamella, more thin liquids between those bubbles, so increase the number of bubbles, then you should be able to actually be able to move and recover things like highly viscous oil out of reservoir systems. The reason why we're doing this is for enhanced oil recovery. By this, we mean that if you were to use conventional technology, they just injecting water, we leave two thirds of the oil in the ground. Rather than just walking away from it, we're developing new enhanced oil recovery technology. And among these technology is injecting high pressure gases, for example, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide at high pressure acts as a solvent for oil and you can mobilize the oil and just leave behind carbon dioxide instead of oil in the ground. The only problem with gases like carbon dioxide is that they have a very low viscosity. You know, once carbon dioxide or gas finds a way through the reservoir, it just about whistles through the reservoir from the injector to the producer. It's such a low viscosity or such a thin fluid. But if you were to disperse the gas like carbon dioxide in water and keep the dispersion stable by adding some surfactant, you can generate a foam. And as you know, foam such as like shaving foam or shampoo acts like a viscous fluid. That is, it's a more syrupy fluid, yet it has, still has the solvent properties of carbon dioxide, but yet it has a resistance to flow. So when you try to force the carbon dioxide through the reservoir dispersed in water as a foam, it creates a pressure drop and it pushes the oil out ahead of it. And so you can recover much more oil than if you were to try to inject carbon dioxide and water by itself. And so this is what uh, carbon dioxide, enhanced oil recovery, and foam mobility control is about.